So this morning, I'm heading out to Bridgen International School, which is a school I used to work at some years back. It's amazing how you know life has turned out. I used to teach music in this school. Um, Maggie, that's Dr. Margaret Domegba, took me in as his son. And basically gave me the opportunity to teach. So I taught music there. And it was fun. I mean, I learned a lot of interacting with kids, with children. On that job, it is till date um, one of the most memorable parts of my life. I thought music there and um, at an occasion I had the opportunity um, to do something which has lasted for years. It has become a legacy piece in the school today. So I'm heading out to see how that little act of service that I did um, several years back is going at the moment. So come with me. So speaking about acts of service, you know, I was thinking about this on my way back uh, from out of town, you know, um, when I met Auntie Maggie at the airport. And I just realized that, you know, it's easy to talk about purpose. Oh, um, living out your purpose, leaving a mark on earth. And sometimes we think it's those big, phenomenal things that we do that end up, you know, adding up to our living our purpose on earth or leaving a legacy. You know, leaving your footprints in the sand of time, like it is said. But you see, you realize, I'm realizing that um, the little things that you do can sometimes add up to be the mark, you know, the footprints that you leave in the sands of history. So um, whatever you find to do, uh, you should take heed to do it well because you never know. That may be that mark you're <laughs> hoping to leave in the sand of time, you know what I mean? So I was just thinking about it. At the time when I, I did this, how would I have known? Come on, how would I have known that? It would become, I mean, what I'm looking back today, documenting and saying, oh, this is one of the things that I would be remembered for in life, right? So, yeah. It's amazing, isn't it? My name is Sandra Edet. I am the head of school, Bridge End International School, located somewhere in the city of Calabar in Cross River State, Nigeria. My name is Dr. Mrs. Margaret Ndomaiba. I am the proprietor of Bridge End International School, but by designation, I go with director stroke CEO of Bridge End Schools. Otobong Epenyong. Okay. So, you know, um, I refer to myself as a storyteller who um, stalks the human experience. And by that, I mean that I question my lived experience as a human. And you also even invite me to it. And while at it, I tell stories about subjects that I deem to matter. I mean, I haven't always been like that, you know. I've done several things in my life and work. And the experience which we recount today, my experience working in Bridgen is one of those things that I've done. I actually heard about him through my boss. We call her Auntie Maggie anyway. So I remember Auntie Maggie coming um, as usual, one of those mornings to school, and then she says to me, ah, Sandra, something happened over the weekend. And I said, what happened? She said, ah, I saw one of my old staff. 
in fact, the first music teacher of Bridge End International School actually was uh, the person who wrote the anthem of the school and gave it a base for us to sing every day. I remember very well, sometime in 2005, we were hiring staff of various subjects and I had a vacancy for music teacher. And then um, at the interview, Otobong appeared amongst one of the applicants. He was very impressionable from the first time I saw him. You could see that this was a young man who knew the subject. This was a young man who actually had dreams of what he wants to make out of the subject. And we definitely saw him being somebody who would be able to interact with the children, help the children, especially on instruments, stations, how to play the piano, how to blow the flutes and every other thing. And that's exactly what we needed because this is a primary school. No real, um, there was no need going into details of music as a subject. But the basic thing is let the children know how to play violin, let the children know how to play um, their keyboard, let the children also know how to play the flute. Those were the basic things I wanted at the time. And he happened to be a jack of all trades and funnily enough, a master of all, not just master of none, but he was a master of all. So he introduced the children into it. But I am actually proud to say that it didn't just end there. Um, he left something behind in the school. He was highly instrumental to our school anthem because at that time the school was just barely two, three years old. I have directed music in many faith-based organizations. And while at it, I have put words to music. And whenever I did that, um, I mean, people that have worked with me in some of those faith-based organizations, in choirs, in bands, in concerts that I've directed, so as music director, would know that I've always been very deliberate and specific about how I write songs. I think I even thought the model on how I write empowering songs, which maybe someday I'll share for anybody interested. <laughs> But I have always um, been very deliberate when I write songs. He wrote out the anthem and gave the instrumentation to the anthem. In fact, my son wrote out the lyrics initially, but being a non-professional or somebody who had not been learned in music at all, Otto took it up, did the final thing, which is what we sing up till today in Bridge End International School. And then Otto gave the music that went with the lyrics, and that was how we had our school anthem. I remember when I, I came to school, um, and I told a few teachers who have been in the school for quite a long time, I mean, right from the inception of the school, they were also very excited and said, ah, we can remember him OTB, you know, and all that. So my first impression was I, I really liked him. He's good at what he's doing. The fact that, um, he returned, came back to where he actually started, and then wants to also give back to uh, Bridge End, you know, for the number of years he spent here. So exciting to know him, and we're happy. Welcome to the Hit Drive Time. For those who just joined us, this is Hit 95.9 FM. My name is Duke Emanuel, and it's a Tuesday edition of the show. So we pick Tuesdays to head back to school days and talk about the things that happened when we were in school. You know, basically all the fun things that happen and the not so fun things that happen when we're in primary and secondary schools. And we like to, you know, bring those memories, relieve those memories. And I usually call those days the glory days. I feel like those days were the glory days. My name is Christopher Raymond Paul. I am an entrepreneur, currently studying business management at the University of Calabar. I am an alumni of Bridge and International School, class of 2011, and I'm glad to be back. 
My name is Mirabel Bancoli. I am a pupil of British and International School. My class is grade one grade. My name is Savior Banco. I'm Mirabel's mom. And I chose um, Bridge N for her because of the past experience I've gotten. My grown up children passed through Bridge N. My first son and the second girl, they are all in the university. And the foundation I got from Bridge N is nothing to play about with. So I keep telling people about Bridge N. And that is why I cannot relent bringing Mirabel to this school because I know what I get from here. They go out and excel. That's why I say Mirabel must be here, and that is why she's here. The homie's name is Will Fresh, and the jam is called I Know Like School. I mean, typically, chronic clean. The life of a young Nigerian boy, you know, who is not enjoying his days at school. I, I feel like uh, most people have the same story, right? You just go into it, start enjoying it um, when you in immerse yourself in it. Maybe that's why they usually say, uh, when you go through the school, go through the school and let the school go through you, you know, stuff like that. We get to hear that. Um, all the time. I would recommend Bridge End to a lot of people because I know how they impacted my life. Uh, I have an instance, I went to secondary school for the first time after graduating from Bridge End and I was called to speak with the other students and from the way I spoke they knew that okay this one came from a very very good school and I was recommended for it. So I just knew from there that my foundation in Bridge End was, was a lot. We've done it before, but we're bringing it back. I think it was like two years ago, last time we did it. Um, I, I don't know how many people can sing their anthems, their primary school anthems. Is there monetary value to this thing? Yes, but I'm, going to, but I'm going to decide who I'm giving we something have, to. Have, yeah, Depends. I, I if you sing your anthem, you got to sing it on key. You gotta get it right, no blabbing, and you gotta sing it through. I, I can't. All right. Deny. So, so, so this is this is how it's gonna go, yeah. You're gonna tell me the name of the school that you attended, and then you get to sing your anthem. Okay. All right, let's go. So what what, actually, what school do you rep? I actually attended Unical Secondary School. Okay, so all the all the Unical Secondary School people, yo, 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 you guys, yo. you guys have like a like a WhatsApp group or something. <laughs> Where we go? Drop a bomb for all of you guys. <laughs> That's U U C I S S. Yes. Okay, yes. nice. So what's, but, but that's secondary school now. You don't remember your, your own primary school, Anton? Primary school, you don't have Anton. There was, there was, except oh. you went to one Paco school like that. Okwaiwa. <laughs> <laughs> I got the information about this program on um, British and WhatsApp group. And I told Mirabel about it. Fortunately, it wasn't a school day. It was their mid-term break. So we were at home, I was at home with her. And I told her about the program. And immediately after telling her, there was no peace again for me because she keep on disturbing me. Mommy check the time. In fact, she was glued to the clock. Mommy is almost time, check the time. So when uh, the program started, though it started late, but when it started, I now was trying the number. I tried several times, it didn't work. Thank you for joining me. Good afternoon. Oh, there we go. I don't know what's going on there. You got to call me back. All right, holler again and let's make it count. Now, I'm getting messages that a bunch of people are trying to reach us. Apologies. I mean, the phone lines, you know how it is. Um, everyone trying to call in at the same time, you know, but we're just going to try to squeeze in um, the calls that we can. And because of that, I'm going to do an extra 10 minutes right after the 3 o'clock hour so we can, you know, see how we can you know, cater to more people. All right, let's do this. It's the hit drive time. For those that just joined us, it's Tuesday school day. And every Tuesday, we basically 
um, take you back to school days. And today we're doing something different. We're, we're trying to um, find out how many people can sing their anthems. You know, when you're in school, um, it, it's a it's a part of you. They can tap you in the morning and you just go ahead and sing it. I want to see how many people still have this with them, you know, right after they've left school, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 years down the line, as the case may be. All right, so hey, call us up, get involved and be a part of it. Rep for your school, sing your anthem, let's have fun together. Each time she hears them pick some other person's number, she will be like, she want to cry. That's it. But I kept on trying, trying until they now pick. When they pick, I say, thank God. I think I have someone here. Hello? Hi, good afternoon. If you can hear me, you are on the radio. Your name is what? Mirabel. Mirabel, what school do you represent? Mirabel, Mirabel, what school do you represent? International School. What's, what's the name of the school again? International. Did you say Bridge End? Bridge End International. Yay, welcome, welcome. All right, go ahead and sing your anthem for us. We're listening. In a distant land, true life so great, is the future bright and pure. If you listen to the lyrics of that anthem, it's amazing. It's so educative, it's inspiring, and puts a whole lot of confidence in a child or children. To the best of my knowledge, any anthem, whether it's a national anthem, whether it is a school anthem, whatever anthem it is, always targets or exhibits the vision of the place that has the anthem. It also tries as much as possible to, to be something that inspires the children to follow the goals of the establishment or the country. If you listen to the wordings of all um, anthems of different nationals or the anthems of various schools, you'll always see that there is some vision to it as well as some goal and objectives being part of what is being sung. Now that I think about it in retrospect, I could see, you know, the storytelling part of it, you know, because words are powerful, right? We are from the Christian, you know, faith and we believe in creationism. So we believe that everything we see today was created by words, the words of God. So words are always very powerful, you know. And also, people don't have to lead or impact people directly. People um, can impact people by the work of art that they create. And that's the kind of mindset, you know, I've always had, especially with my songwriting. Um, you know, songs allow us to use metaphors to create worlds, you know, visually use words to paint pictures you know in the hearts of people and that's what i did when auntie maggie asked me to write this song the anthem has had a lot of impact on the children and actually many of the lines of the anthem really drive the students even when they sing it, you could see the hilarious attitude in the children. For example, there is this line that says, and our minds transformed by the things we learn for the greatness we will earn. 
I mean, that's enough drive for a child who has a focus and knows what he or she wants to get after being in bridge end. Then the chorus is also another fantastic, in fact, that's my favorite. It says, we will succeed. Navigate each bend till we reach the end. We will succeed. Through this bridge, we'll reach the end. And the bridge they are referring to is Bridge End International School. So what they are actually saying is that they see the school as the bridge, and if they are focused and they navigate the bends in the school well, there is no way they will not reach the end. What else can we ask for? Nice. The wordings are very, very meaningful. They actually inspire the children. My recollection of the anthem is I and the other pupils standing at the center of the school building, screaming at the top of our lungs, especially the chorus, we will succeed, navigate through each bend, we will succeed, through this bridge we'll reach the end. And that part of the anthem inspired me. It served as a form of affirmation and motivation that no matter what happens, what we learned here has transformed our minds and will help us to succeed through life's troubled way.